<laughs> yeah, the news broke today, Mel, that short stack, they've broken up and I was on a plane. I got off this plane and I saw my Facebook going ballistic over this. Yeah, this is really, really... Well, people don't know whether to be sad or if the guys are okay with it. We need to know what happened. Well, as soon as I got off that plane, I rang Sean and I'm like, what? What's going on? <laughs> and he's on the show right now to chat with us. Hey, buddy. Hey, how you doing? Man, why? Why are you breaking our hearts? Why are short stacks breaking up? <laughs> Uh, at the end of the day, you know, it's that, that same old reason, musical differences and, you know, when it came down to it, creatively, we just weren't on the same page anymore. It's been eight years, hasn't it, of the same style and you boys kind of growing up together and I guess you're kind of grown-ups now going your own way, aren't you? Yeah, definitely. You know, when the band started, I was 15 and now I'm almost 23, so... You know, it's been a pretty long time and in, you know, in everyone's life, I guess, the sort of musical taste changes and, yeah. <laughs> so when you say, like, musical changes, so every, you wanted to change the sound of the band? You want to do something new or, what? like, what? who was it who didn't want to keep doing the same thing? Yeah, sort of. It's like every time an album comes around, I usually write the album and then a few weeks before we go into the studio, I give it to the boys and stuff like that. And, um, you know, usually the first album we did, you know, everything was all sweet because we all loved that sort of style of music. And then the second album, we sort of drifted apart a little bit. And then on this most recent album that we just well, recorded, but probably didn't ever see the light of day, that, you know, it's just uh, we couldn't really agree on anything set in stone. So we sort of met in the middle and a place where no one was really happy. Is this a mutual agreement or is there someone that maybe is taking it a bit harder than others? Oh, no, it's completely mutual. You know, at the end of the day, no one really hates each other and we're still good mates and we went out and had drinks for Brady's birthday on the weekend. So, yeah, everyone's sort of cool about it. Does that mean that you and I finally get to put this, like, two-man band together that we've been talking about for all these years, Sean? <laughs> yeah, man, let's do it. And dubstep side project. <laughs> yes, I'm telling you. Sean and I both have love affairs for not just each other, but also Skrillex. So you can hear it coming out now. Like, it's going to be some nasty-ass dubstep. Yeah, half, you know it here first. <laughs> yeah, half's going to sound awesome, and the other half's going to sound crap, though. Hey, don't put Sean down like that. That's horrible. I know. Thank Leave you. me alone. <laughs> So, mate, you guys, I know you did do um, an, an album, which, you, which is done, as you said. This is not going to get released now, is that right? Yeah, I think it's sort of just going to sit in a vault and um, uh, it's at a label now and it's sort of up to the disposal how they really want to use it. I don't, they don't want their cash, mate. They'll put it out. Don't worry about that. <laughs> <laughs> and what, so you, I know, I read on your Twitter and that and you were telling me you're going to do your own thing over in New York. You're working on a few things. Uh, are the other boys going to keep doing music or what, what's their plan? Yeah, I think they're going to um, take a behind-the-scenes sort of thing. I think yeah. um, Brady's really involved in production and he's really gifted in that area and short stack probably wasn't the best environment for him to thrive at, I think, because we always had producers in, but now Brady, yeah, sure. I think, is going to start producing stuff all the band. And you've, sh you've shared the stage with some pretty big peeps. Good Charlotte, Simple Plan, eight years of short stack. What's the highlight? I think... We saw that at the Opera House, that was pretty awesome. And the cover of Rolling Stone, that was a pretty big thing as well. I was thinking about it today, there's just so many. <laughs> what about that time you had that guy come up in a bunny suit and sing a song with you? <laughs> yeah, that was that was such a highlight, such a big highlight, I can't even put it on the same level as the other ones. <laughs> <laughs> well, man, look, you know what, we, I mean, we're happy for you guys and, you know, we're sad at the same time because you guys um, have, you know, been such a big part of the Hot 30 Countdown for such a long time. Um, and I know you and I, like, I, I remember the first interview we did with you guys. It was <laughs> you, had the, you had a worse haircut than me at that time, mate. Hey. <laughs> he still does. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, but you know what, that's the thing. Everyone used to say, you've got a haircut like short stack. And I'd be like, no, they've got a haircut like me. <laughs> so, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, but, man, I mean, we hope the best for all you boys. And, you know, there's always a home here for, you know, when you get your new stuff going, out, uh, going on, you've got to come and, and bring it into us first. Yeah, definitely. I'll deliver it personally on my bicycle. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Sean from Short Stack, thanks for hanging out with us, man. No worries, guys. Thanks so much for the support, too. All right, uh, before we wrap it up, i tell you what, let's reminisce a little. If we were going to play um, any one of your massive singles here on the Hot 30 tonight, what would it be? Oh, um, let's go with Sway Sway Baby. That was a fun one. Yes, <laughs> I love that one. That's my favourite. <laughs> uh, all right, let's get it on our short stack. Sway Sway Baby right here on the Hot 30 Countdown. <laughs> Man. 
Cause silence is the secret liquid shared between us Just to skip the secret through our thoughts